In this video, I'm going to be discussing SPRY. SPRY is an AJAX framework that essentially allows you to add um, you know, richer experiences, more interactive experiences, without having to write JavaScript and without uh, requiring the individual to have to re-download the page each time. So one of the examples of Spry is an accordion. I know we saw a lot of other students' uh, projects that made use of this accordion. I've gone ahead and just built one with some lorem ipsum text where we can see these panels you know, appear and disappear similar to an accordion. Uh, and it just allows us to manage our content. Instead of having to scroll uh, excessively on the page, I can just manage my content through these individual panels. And I've added these colors and rollover effects and all of that through the CSS over here on the right, as we've previously discussed how to how to use that panel. So let's go ahead and go to a blank page. And I'm going to just go to insert and then pick spry. And we'll look at the accordion first. So with the accordion here, notice the property inspector always shows us the properties of what's selected. So right now the accordion selected, not selected. We see the property inspector showing us the properties of where our insertion point is on the main portion of the page. But once the accordion is selected, I can see my panels. I could add panels. I could reorder my panels. It looks like number two here is gotten out of order. And I could select the panel at which I want to edit. And since And I could go ahead and add my content here. And of course, if I wanted to edit a different panel, I would, with the accordion selected, just go to that particular, make sure that panel is selected before I start typing in my data. You have an extra credit project where you can create a spry accordion, much like the one I've created here where you've used a, a number of questions and added some CSS formatting to the document. I do want to note, though, that Spry is um, actually called something else in the Creative Cloud. So it's no longer, it no longer functions um, this way through the Dreamweaver CC software. You would have to do this if you wanted to do this project with uh, CS6 or earlier version. Um, I also want to note that, let's go back over to this page. Notice here at the top, I can flip between my HTML code, JavaScript, and CSS. These are all things that have been generated for us through creating that accordion. That's part of why it's important to go ahead and make sure that we uh, created our site root folder in advance so that this JavaScript and CSS is being put in the right place. So you don't have to worry about finding that after the fact. And actually, I probably would have moved this uh, CSS to an external sheet if I was actually putting this on my finished web page. But, you know, Dreamweaver, as we're doing things like adding Spry, Dreamweaver is going to be placing this, you know, in the appropriate place in your site root folder presuming that it is there. So let's look at some of the other things that we can insert with Spry. We can add a menu bar, and you can use the property inspector to add sub items, or go ahead and add a few under here, and we can go into the live view and see what's happening, the items that I've just added. And then under the link area down here, of course I need to get out of live view, 
Uh, but this is where I could have link, you know, change this to, I don't know, if staff and put the link to staff.html, for instance. So this is a great way to manage your navigation if you have a lot of content up in that main navigation and you don't want to have this cluttered appearance to the page because this way it would only appear when it's needed. The tabbed panels are another thing that's popular and I could add a few more. It's just another way of managing content but rather than the user navigating as they would through the accordion, they would simply flip through the tabs. If we go ahead and uh, switch this and all of this through CSS, I could customize the colors uh, here and you know enable it to fit in more with my finished page. see what else we might want to look at. Um, actually, probably the only other thing that I've seen is, is the other alternative of the menu bar. And so for, far as what I've seen actual students do in their projects, I don't know where my insertion point was when I added that. I think I might have, I oh, thought I might have lost that. Um, let's go ahead and put it in again. Probably should have been paying attention to where that was to begin with. Uh, but this is a uh, menu bar that uh, is vertical instead of horizontal. So I was going to add a few more items there. So if we go into live view, you could get an idea of, you know, extremely uh, concise and clean, but yet open up to, you know, many other links. Great if you have a number of levels to your storyboard, you know, more than just the uh, level zero and level one, but if you have a lot of levels to the storyboard, this can be very effective in terms of, of managing content. So this is all that I was going to discuss. You know, this is the end of the discussion of Spry as far as the classroom is concerned, but if you're interested in practicing these uh, tasks with Spry or looking into it a little bit more, I have some examples of Spry that are in the, um, in the examples tab on Blackboard, there's a spry folder. Also in the lab section, there is an extra credit lab where you can build a accordion just like this one. Of course, you, um, you should have a number of questions and try to pick questions that have longer answers. So you have just a little bit more going on here. It's particularly interesting, I think, if your questions, if some of them are exceeding the size and you can work with that a little bit. Um, make sure if you decide to do the extra credit option that you upload all the files. So we've got the CSS, this JavaScript, or HTML, and a number of things to, to upload there. Well, that concludes the Spry discussion which again, it's just an overview. This isn't a required component about your pro for your project, although I've had a number of students that have chosen to use this. And if you want to continue it, you can pick up with those extra credit activities.